Okay, so we'll come in here now and we'll get this nut. And if you look at it real close, there's a flat side on one side and on the complete opposite side, there is another flat area. So this is a nut and this isn't on there very tight. I'm just using a monkey wrench. Uh, I don't recommend these for every job, but this is not, it's, you're clamping down on glass. So this is not a very tight nut. So we just give that a twist. Like that, that thing's free. Just go ahead and remove that. You can see there's see the two little flat sides on there. So we got that off. There's also a little plastic washer in there. So we'll get that off too and we'll hang on to that. And then the shaft portion, we get that off so you can see it's just a hole in there. There's also another little plastic washer. Now this one's actually rubber. So we'll pop that out of that little hole. And, uh, and that's it. We got our little pieces out. And uh, you'll notice that this is kind of a, an oblong hole. See, it's not a, you know, if I stick this in there by itself, this just kind of wiggles around. So you look at this gasket and you can see how it's kind of got uh, some little, some areas on it that hold it into place. So, so we got that out. And uh, next thing we need to do is actually remove uh, the entire uh, vent window glass. And I'll show you how I do that. So next on the list, we need to come in here and remove the glass and, and it's little metal bracket and uh, everything with that. That includes the little spring uh, down here. Now on these, there's obviously a little rivet right here. And that's, it, it's not a super tight rivet because it's, you gotta be able to pivot on that point. So what I do is I came in and I drilled out these two rivets here that hold this bracket and the rest of the window uh, to the, the primary uh, framework. So I drill these two uh, rivets out and then this part comes off. This down here is real simple. You just fold back these little ears. Where is it? There it is. You just fold back these little ears on this metal retaining tab. Real simple to do. Now, keep in mind the order of the washers and everything on this uh, tension assembly. It's basically what it is. Now I'll show you this piece in particular. You see how it's rounded? Let me open this up a little bit. Mine's a little stiff. We'll come in on this side. See on this side how it's flat? Basically the reason for that is so it's not a perfect circle. It comes around and it catches on its own little bracket right there. That's just so you don't over rotate the vent window uh, when you're pushing it out. So keep in mind the orientation of, uh, of this little tab. When the window is closed, that flat area points forward towards uh, the nose of the truck. So just uh, keep that in mind and uh, get yourself a little, uh, little Ziploc baggie and uh, bag all this stuff up. So uh, let's go ahead and get, uh, we'll get this piece out of here.